Hi everyone and welcome to Protocol Physics. And in today's video, I wanted to give my thoughts on the popular theory that Peter Parker might become Venom in Marvel Spider-Man 2. However, before we get started, if at any point you enjoyed this video, I really appreciate if you could drop a like, as that would really help out the channel. So it's a theory that's pretty much been going around since the gameplay demo came out last week, discussing that Peter Parker might in fact become Venom in Marvel Spider-Man 2, and it won't be either Harry Osborn or Eddie Brock in that game. I'm of course gonna give my thoughts about this, but one of the things that made a lot of people believe that's the case is because of the little detail we see of Peter's lenses moving. The shape that it makes is very subtle, however, it is Venom-like, where we do see a move similar to how Venom's eyes move, which is a really, really neat detail by Insomniac and would actually foreshadow the fact that Venom will in fact, of course, show up in the game. As well as, it's one of the many things that became a tradition for many Spider-Man adaptations where they will hint the appearance of Venom before Eddie Brock even gets the symbiote. Like of course the 90s Spider-Man anime series where we do see Peter looking at a reflection of himself and then a Venom appears in one second. Um, as well as a deleted scene in Spider-Man 3 where we do see Peter looking at himself in the mirror and then you see a brief, very very brief glance of Venom. And obviously there's one point in the film where when he's taking it off the Venom symbiote basically makes a face very similar to Venom. So I can definitely see it somewhere pulling that off for sure and the eyes of course being a very subtle hint that either Venom is coming or Peter will in fact become Venom. One of the other things people think that's the case is of course that we might in fact play as Miles when fighting against Peter. Now of course fighting against Peter as a boss isn't confirmed but it is something very heavily speculated upon. We talked about it many times in the channel like over two years now that I do believe that's going to happen and I really really hope it does as well because not only would it be a huge opportunity but also a smart way for in some way to have Peter get rid of the symbiote instead of trying to get rid of it on his own which obviously has been the case for decades now um, however since we have Miles in the game it would be a missed opportunity if they don't use him when trying to have Peter get rid of the symbiote since we know that sooner or later he is going to get back to normal because obviously Spider-Man will talk about and of course one of the other evidence is the fact that Peter at some points have become Venom like literally has become Venom physically like of course with the Ultimate Spider-Man comics where when Peter was wearing the symbiote for the first time Time, he spotted a crook and he mistakenly took him for Uncle Ben's killer which made him so angry to the point where he actually became Venom. So there has been points where Peter has become Venom but of course those moments has been very very rare. There are many other things as well that people have mentioned why that might be the case but as of my thoughts I personally don't think Peter will become Venom in Marvel's Spider-Man 2 at least not in the way where Eddie Brock is Venom like a final boss where we have to fight towards at the end of the game because at the end of the day it is a Peter Parker game. He is the protagonist. So we're going to have to play as him when fighting against Venom towards the ending of the game. Since it wouldn't really make sense if it's a Peter Parker game, we play as Miles to fight against Peter who's supposed to be the main character. Obviously I do think a boss fight between them will definitely happen, but I don't think it will be the boss fight at the end of the game. It will just be one of them and it would be probably a big portion of the game too. However, if he were to become Venom, I wouldn't be surprised if there was one point where Peter eventually gets the symbiote off him. The actual symbiote suit does make him even more aggressive than usual, thus actually making him Venom, or at least a proto-Venom, where we as Mars are forced to take him down, probably towards the ending of that fight. I think that is more likely to happen, plus it would be more accurate to the Ultimate comics as well, which of course Insomniac isn't too shy to take some inspiration from. So I do think that it's more likely to happen if that's going to be the case, but even that is pretty hard to say. However, I do think that will happen, and of course leading to the Venom similar to go to someone else, either Harry or preferably Eddie, and then where we are forced to become Peter again and then actually fight the real Venom as the actual main Venom of the game. Of course all of this is speculation, we don't really know anything that's going to happen until Insomniac either confirms or of course, which is you know more likely to happen, we find out when the game is out. For me I don't think Peter will become Venom, however there will probably be a moment where he will temporarily transform towards the ending of the Mars bus fight, assuming we do get one, of course. As well as I do also think that we will get glimpses of Venom in cutscenes very very similar to the 90s anime series, where we do see one glimpse of Venom, basically showing how corrupt Pia is becoming in the suit, and this is the person who could be one day if he doesn't stop. So I definitely don't think something like that could happen, for narrative reasons. But in terms of gameplay, as I said once again, it would be something where Peter temporarily transformed into Venom before he takes it off. But that's as far as 
I see it going when it comes to Peter Parker becoming Venom. However, what about you guys? Do you actually think Peter Parker will become Venom in Marvel Spider-Man 2? Do you think it will be temporarily or do you think he will be the main villain of the game? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. If you enjoyed this video, please like and want more, subscribe. To begin, Protocol 36.